Have you heard that some people are spending hundreds, thousands, or even hundreds of thousands of dollars on NFTs? What's an NFT? NFTs are digital art. Oh, that gives me a great idea. Be right back. A few minutes later. <laughs> We're gonna make so much money. We're gonna make so much money. <laughs> are you gonna tell him or am I gonna tell him? Tell me what? We need to learn about NFTs. I thought he looked handsome. Familiar, even. <laughs> NFT stands for Non-Fungible Token. Fungible is a weird word, right? So, what does it mean? Good question, Cadence. Something that is fungible can be replaced, but something that is non-fungible cannot be replaced. If you lost a sock, you could easily replace that. But if you lost your favorite stuffed animal toy, that couldn't be replaced. Like me? Hmm. Like me, right? Like me, right? <laughs> you see, your favorite stuffed animal is non-fungible to you. It has a special value to you that cannot be replaced by something different. Most NFTs are actually digital artwork. And this means the artwork is created and can only be seen digitally on a computer or electronic device like virtual reality goggles. Recently, people have developed a way for these electronic artists to sell their work using it as an NFT. Now I understand why they had to tell me about my artwork. The NFT is a way that proves that the artist's digital artwork is the only one of its kind anywhere in the entire world. This means it cannot be copied or reproduced without the owner's knowledge and approval. And an NFT is the unique digital token that proves ownership to those items like digital art, which again, cannot be copied. Think of it like this. A person may have a printed copy of the Mona Lisa, and it looks just like it, but it's not the same as the actual real painting of the Mona Lisa. NFTs use blockchain technology, which works like a digital record of all transactions connected to the NFT on a large system of computers. NFTs use the same blockchain technology used by cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin to keep a public ledger. And we have a video all about cryptocurrency that goes over this even more and we'll link it in the description below this video. The blockchain is simply a permanent record of who owns them, and every single entry in this ledger is unique. So how are NFTs bought and sold? Great question, Quinn. NFTs are sold on special websites called a marketplace. And in order to buy or sell an NFT, you need a digital wallet that works with that marketplace. And this digital wallet must also have enough cryptocurrency available to purchase in that marketplace. And it's important to note that many marketplaces also have additional fees to purchase an NFT to go through and change who actually owns that digital item or artwork. So, how much do NFTs cost? You're hitting me up with the good questions again, Quinn. Well, because each NFT is unique, they all have different values, and an NFT's price is decided by demand and supply of that artwork. Some NFTs can be as inexpensive as a few dollars, all the way up to millions of dollars. That's like what you said kind of in the beginning of the video. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Interesting. But no matter how much they're worth, 
NFTs are all purchased with cryptocurrency that can be exchanged for physical currency that you hold in digital wallets. So are NFTs a good investment? This is a very common question at the time of this video because NFTs are so new and also quite a bit unusual. The reason why many people invest and buy NFTs are so they can keep them for a long time, hoping they grow in value, similar to a rare comic book or baseball card. Others will buy an NFT and immediately try to sell it for more than they paid for it, and this is called NFT flipping. What makes NFTs very popular and continuing to grow are more companies getting involved with NFTs, the metaverse, and more. And at the time of recording this video, NFTs are no longer just pieces of digital art or JPEG images. They have actually become much more than just digital pieces of art. Many NFT companies or NFT projects are also parts of video games, movies, celebrities, and more. Can anyone create and sell an NFT? So if you want to create an NFT, you have to first choose the specific blockchain technology you want to use, and then upload your art or items to that blockchain. Then, you select the NFT marketplace to list your NFT on. This is because, remember, NFTs can only be bought and sold on a specialized NFT marketplace. And you can even add a royalty or commission to your NFT, which means that you'll get a payment every single time your NFT artwork changes owners. Again, NFTs are still very new and very confusing for most people, but as the technology grows, so will the understanding of NFTs and what and how they can be used in the future. Well, hey, guess what? Now we all know a little bit more about NFTs. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. It really helps out our channel. It sure does. Make sure you subscribe. Bye! Bye.